welcome back to my channel y'all it's been too long just too long um i have no idea where my phone is to check this and make sure everything is kosher so i don't know where it is let's see i have my phone i talked to somebody hold on hold on it's coming to me <laughs> I know where it is, but I know where it is. Oh, Lord. It's over here next to me. I thought I knew where it was. All right, let me check this out on YouTube. Let's go to a, an account. Oh, here we go. Ignore that. The replay. Um, but y'all, hey, hey girl, yes ma'am, oh my gosh, I think it's been three weeks since I did a video, and I, I could be wrong, but I'm sh pretty sure it's been three weeks, I have so much to catch up on you all with, and so many ideas and videos we gotta get out, <coughs> so, before I get started, my name is Tayana. I do all kinds of things on this channel. Follow my micro lock journey is the biggest thing. Hey, Dad. Hey, Shades of Sage. Um, yeah, I don't think you was first. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you. And this is after a rainy day, by, by the way. So this is after a rainy day. And I think it was hanging just a little bit more. but And it looks nice, right? Like the color. <clears throat> the color looks like vibrant like sometimes it looks really really black and i guess it's because all the hair is together or whatever but yeah so i do all kinds of things this channel find my micro lock journey is the biggest thing since i last talked to you i have gotten so many new subscribers so thank you all for subscribing um and bear with me because my voice is just a mess it's just a mess so one of the reasons why i haven't been able to be on YouTube. Plus, I've just been busy. You know, I've just been busy. Just been busy. So, <clears throat> we don't even have time to waste because I'm still busy. So, I have wanted because I need to remake. Thank you, Vanessa, because sometimes you need to hear that. Thank you. I need to make my Aloe Popsicles again. Um,. I was supposed to use this one with y'all, but look at it. Like, it's it's been in the refrigerator for a long time because I planned on making it with you. And usually once it gets, like, this color here, I'm not interested in using it. And I don't, I mean, I could wash it and cut open the top, which maybe I will. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will. So let me wash it. But I did go and get another one because, yeah. Today is wash day, so we need to wash my hair today, actually. So let me wash these plants real quick. Um, but I need to wash my hair, so <clears throat> hopefully I'm about to do that after this video. And then um, I'm going to let it air dry a little bit. And then Shade the Sage commented in one of my videos and said that she I'm not blown it out in a long, long time. So I'm thinking maybe just for you, my faithful supporter, I will blow my hair out. I say and blow it out like it's really like when it's locked is not quite the same as you know, when you're natural. And stuff. But um, yeah. So I'm thinking I might blow dry it, and I haven't blow dried it in a long, long time. Um, and I kind of just stretch it with my two ponytails with my two buttons so if you've been watching that I kind of have two buttons and I kind of been doing that and so I probably will do that again let's see what do I even use this this I use this right I think so I don't know and uh what else do we use we use two of these let me tell y'all okay 
Like, I am just so busy. I don't I don't have time to wash this dishes, right? So I've been using dishwasher. But the dishwasher will tear your stuff apart because this is supposed to be this color. And it just peeled right off. Just peeled right off. And don't let my aunt see it because she's the one who bought it for me. But just peeled right off. I'm gonna use this one in case I need a little bit extra today. And um I actually have to soak it in uh, and water. <clears throat> so I'll use this, I guess, to soak it in water because that kind of keeps the yellow. <clears throat> if you ever use aloe, it has like that yellow stuff on it. So soaking it in water has definitely helped keep it from turning yellow. So I'm gonna pour some cold water in here. And I'm gonna cut and put them into here as I cut them. And yeah, so yes, yeah, so today's wash day. So I have some aloe left, which is good. Use a good knife, but I really don't need to for this. I have some aloe left, which is really good, but aloe is definitely my favorite way. So if you're a client of mine and I put aloe in your hair or you want me to, more than likely I will be using the ice cubes on you because I just, I like them. And um, the shampoo with aloe, probably not needed. So I have two, two left and the two right here. And I didn't fill it up all the way. Oh, that's nice. I didn't fill it up all the way, but I might fill it up more this time. Even though, honestly, I don't even use the whole thing. I usually use most of it, and there's always, like, a little piece that starts cracking that I kind of, like, just put it down. How was the Mediterranean salad? <clears throat> it was pretty good. It was pretty good, you know? Somebody bought that for me when I was down and out. See, like... I don't know. Do it always look this dark? I feel like it looked dark. This is the so this is the piece, the bad piece. Definitely not using it. Um, and I can't even say it's bad because honestly, it could be that the refrigerator made it turn this color. But I'm still not on. Use it just in case because we all know I have scalp issues, and my scalp will be on fire. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys down some so you can see. Honestly, it doesn't look bad in here. It stinks though. I don't know. I'm too scared to try it because that's all I need is for me to be, you know, acting crazy. I don't know if I could do it, guys. I feel bad about throwing it out, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can do it. I just don't think so. So yes. So. Let me know how you all have been doing because I haven't been able to talk to you and check in with you and see how your lives have been going and what's new. Well, we missed my birthday, y'all. I did take uh, some pictures that I don't know if I'll post or not. A very few pictures of myself, but I took like I took myself to breakfast or something on my birthday, and then they surprised me with this. Um, what did they give me? A cake. Uh, ice cream I think it was ice cream but they had rope on the plate for me and they surprised me with that I thought that was so sweet so unexpected so yes love that all right let me smell this one see if it I want to see if they smell different I think they do this one is definitely more potent that one smell like feet more than the other one smell like feet But yeah, they gave me this little thing that surprised me. I feel like we didn't get a lot out of there. So I'm gonna trash all of this. Then people gave me some gifts, like my mom got me that nice air fryer that's over there for me to play with. And I have been using it, making a whole bunch of stuff, like my favorite stuff, salmon. So that's been really nice. And yeah, we missed it. So what y'all been up to? What y'all been doing? Yes, because I was 
was I was going through. <laughs> I was going through. But today's a little bit better. Not a hundred percent, but um life do not be caring how you feel. But just keep going. Alright. I felt like that was not a, a lot at all. But okay, whatever. So now we're just scraping those. It's only like six pieces. So we're just going to scrape them and put them in. <coughs> I want to say last time we mixed them up with water. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll do that this time. I also have learned that, um, I wonder if there's a, I don't know. I have learned, I wonder, should I like sit down? Like, is there a way to get me in my face in the camera and uh, the bowl? But I've learned, so one of the reasons why I made the aloe is I thought I would use it in between um, wash day, but it just, it annoys me even more. So I'm not, I can't really use the aloe in between wash day because when my scalp starts itching, it's, it don't got no time for no aloe. What it wants is to be washed. And so I have to just wash it. So the aloe is used pretty much only after wash. If I'm in a crunch and I got, and I have to use it after, um, if I have to use it in between wash day, then I'm just using it to hold me over. But for the most part, if my hair is itching, not my hair, it's my scalp. My hair doesn't. Itch. But if my scalp is itching, it wants to be wet down the full wash, run the water through. Vanessa, it does make things easy and fun. Uh, she, yeah, she even made me want to get one too because she cooked my favorite thing in there, um, the salmon, and I love salmon. So, and I had made salmon twice in it, and one day I could not find. Um, a small pack of fresh salmon so I had to buy this huge huge pack that cost me like 20 20 plus dollars or something like that but you know what I enjoyed it all by myself <laughs> like I made some one night and then I made some another night and I made the salmon with Alfredo pasta because my grandmother so if you're watching this hi my mom she just taught me or told me her and Shades of Sage because I asked both of them and I kind of mixed both of their directions together. Um, but they were telling me how to make homemade Alfredo sauce, y'all. And if you've never tried it, you have to try it because it's way too easy for you not to make and tastes way too good for you not to make. So I kind of hate red, red sauce, like hate red sauce with the passion. Um, but I still eat it, so I say that, but I still eat it. <laughs> but um, I don't like red sauce, so I don't like like a red sauce pasta. Not my thing, right? So I always try to make Alfredo pasta, and I knew my grandmother always makes a really good one, but I never got around to asking her. So finally, I was like, let me just ask her how to make her Alfredo sauce. And I couldn't get her, so that's okay, because I called the chef Shima, and she helped me out. And then I did get my grandma, so I was able to put both of their goodness together and make the Alfredo pasta. So the first time I made it, I made it with shrimp. And then the next time, I made it with the salmon that I made in the air fryer. Oh, so good, y'all. So stinking good. I saw a video on TikTok. So for those of you who don't know, like, I watch TikTok way too much. Just way too much. And I really try to stop, so pray for me. <laughs> but I saw a video on TikTok, and he was, and the video said something about the air fryer make everybody think they're a good cook or something like that. He said, "Had me cracking up." There's still some. There's something about it, though. Oh, I don't like cleaning it. I gotta clean it. I told you, I put everything in a dishwasher, and I can't. I don't know. Like this. Y'all don't put your air fryer pieces in the dishwasher, like maybe that rack, but you can't put the other thing in it. So then it's like, I got to clean it and, oh, like I just had to clean it when I got home because yesterday I made some pizza in there and I think I'm going to have some pizza again tonight for dinner and I'm actually putting the Alfredo sauce on top of the pizza. Um, what do you call it? The pizza, I don't know what you call it right now, but you know what I'm talking about. 
It's not the pizza roll. It's the pizza, I don't know what to call it. The pizza thing. But I put the Alfredo sauce on top because, again, I would rather white sauce than a red sauce. And I love a white sauce pizza. So I put the Alfredo sauce on top and then I put the cheese on it. And I just made a cheese one yesterday. But, um... I might make a cheese one today again, but the Alfredo sauce with the cheese, y'all, and the pizza dough that I have. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so that's my plan, but I had to wash the stinking air fryer to do that. I can't be washing this air fryer. Yeah, girl, I just be, I don't know, I just mix both of y'all good stuff together. Yes, you have to try it. Alfredo pizza. I feel like I just saw that on TikTok somewhere too. And maybe that's why it was in my head to put the Alfredo sauce on it. Because I'm done all the pasta. And this is my second time making Alfredo. I made some like two weeks ago or something. So, um, yeah. But I'm like, I don't want to waste my good sauce that I made. Because I don't have no more pasta for it. So, I was like, oh, I could put it on the pizza. Because I've been having this pizza dough sitting around because I plan I did plan to make pizza because you know the little recipe book that comes with the air fryer had pizza as an option so that let me know it was an option so oh, I know that's an option so I made the pizza and it was really really good so I think I'll have some tonight I think and I do have some sausages made so I might make me a sausage pizza with Alfredo sauce Alright. But yes. Um, so some stuff that we have coming up on the channel. I have to do a lock update for y'all because I why do I feel like I just did a video? Oh. So remember I said I'm working on something. I can't tell you guys yet. I can't tell you, but I do need your prayers because this is a lot of work. One of the reasons why I haven't been able to do the videos. But, uh, you know, working on something, and hopefully it all works out for me. And if it does, then I'll be able to share it with you all by the summer. <laughs> Making you hungry. I'm hungry. That's why I'm rushing. Like, I'm rushing trying to get this done so I can eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully I can share good, good news with you all in the summer. That would be exciting. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. But um, I was going somewhere with this, though. Oh, so I've been making videos along the way. So even though I can't share all my good news just yet, you know, because you can't always tell people everything. But even though I can't share all my good news yet, I've been making videos along the way. So by the summertime, God willing, I will update you and I'll let you watch all the videos. Because I want to make sure I'm still recording in the moment. Because there's something different about recording in the moment. That's why I really like Shades of Sage channel. So if you're not subscribed... Make sure you subscribe to Shay's the Sage channel. She's on the chat right now. So, Shame, I wonder if you could put a link in the chat. I don't know. But if you can, you should totally do it. But, um, you know, like I enjoy watching. So, her channel is all on motherhood and stuff. And, you know, and babies and pregnancy and birth. And what was special about it is that, you know, recently she did have a baby. Not recently, recently, because he's almost a year old now. But we were able to, like, be there in a moment with you. So that was nice because sometimes after situations, you kind of forget, like, what happens and how you felt or whatever the case may be. So it was good to be with you in the moment. So that's what I'm kind of doing with the videos that hopefully I will send out to you in the summer. But I'm still recording them in a moment so that you can see. All right, now on these top island pieces, I'm definitely getting lazy and just letting the chunks fall in. Because I can always uh, strain them, which is what I will do, and um, get the final juices from them. I don't feel like straining them, though, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I don't feel like straining them. But, um, like I said, I'm rushing because I am hungry. Definitely hungry. So I'm just going to let these, these chunkier pieces scrape in. And do it. So then hopefully, um, yes, hopefully I will give you all a hair update because we need one of those. Because I, I think I'm two and a half, two and a half years a lot. And then we also need, 
I have to do Saya. Shay is a sage daughter. She reached her one year lock anniversary, so I've been looking at some of her pictures that she has sent me so that I can upload them for us and we can see how her lock journey has gone. And she was five years old when she got them and now she is six. So she's been locked for a whole year and we gotta get her lock journey in there. And then let's see. And then we have to read. The last time I saw you all, we were reading a book, our Grow It Long book, and we didn't finish. But we're close to being done, but we have to finish. So I have to read the Grow It Long book to us all. And we have to, um, I'm going to put this in here. So we'll go back into this bowl. This bowl is deeper. So we have to read the Grow It Long book and then the way my patient set up, all of this is going in there right now. But we were talking about protective hairstyles. None of it is going through the thing. Come on, little buddies. So we have to go back to protective styles and see um, how that works out. See how gooey it is, y'all? I love it so much because it's so gooey. It's really gross, too. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like gross because it almost looks like something I don't want to say. Auntie of four. Oh, okay, okay. That's how she was. They are super adorable. And yes, by this point, because like Shays of Sage, we have we have so many, right? We have so many, and we already have such a large, large family. It's just like you know, it's just adding on, adding on more babies and babies, and they all are different, and your relationship with each, you know niece nephew and even sibling is different because they're different people so it's nice and you see them grow up um and so you know how like your parents say stuff and to you it's kind of annoying and they were like you'll always be my little girl you're like okay that's enough but you know how they say that it's so true because my family members that i have seen as babies it doesn't matter how old they are. Sometimes they make certain faces or do certain things. And it just takes me right back to how they look when they was babies. And they could be grown or teenagers or whatever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my baby. So I totally get when parents be saying that. You'll always be my little girl. I used to be like, I didn't like when they said that. Because I already have like a young looking face. So it took me a while to even look like an adult. So I didn't like when they said that. I'm like, I'm not a little girl. But it's true, though. Sometimes they make the same faces they made as babies, and you're like, oh, my gosh. And then they just become all over again. In that moment, they are a baby. <laughs> so you have Saya just growing up, growing up. Every once in a while, I see one of her baby pictures. And it reminds me of how she used to look as a little baby. All right, y'all, we're almost done. We're just scraping it. That's the last part. Then we're going to pour it into the thing. And like I said, I mixed it with water last time. Mm, I don't think I'm mixing it with water this time. One of the reasons, again, that I mixed it with water because I thought I could use it in between shampoo sessions. But my hair, it's not about being moisturized. It's about... It, just wants to be wet all over again so and not even wet like spray with the spray bottle wet like water needs to run through my scalp and it don't be my hair my hair is my hair will do whatever i want to do it's just my scalp 
I don't know. Is anybody else like that? It's not about being wet. So I can't even be like, oh, I need to spray it. I need to spritz it. Because honestly, if I spray it or spritz it, then I'm irritated. Then I irritated it and it's... Now it's just like wet annoyance. Versus if I don't spray it and I just wash it, then I feel fresh. And then I feel really good. I have to wash it. So now, I don't go too long between washes. It's probably like every week and a half, two weeks tops, sometimes one week. It really depends on what my scalp tells me. And I try to listen to it. I just want to see if there's any more I can get. Because I already wasted one leaf. I'm not doing it on time. And then, like I said, you could blend the aloe. So that's how I used to do it. That's the easiest, easiest way. Just cut the pieces, put it in a blender, be all done. But I don't like that because it just doesn't have the same effect. It loses its thickness and its gooeyness. And for me, it doesn't have hardly any effect. So any of its moisturizing effect, it doesn't really have any. Okay. I'm going to stop there. And that's just going to sit there. And then I'm going to get the... Yes, Vanessa. That's exactly what it looks like. Nasty stuff like that. But I don't want to say it because I'll get grossed out and then... I'll be walking around here not using it. Um, okay. So, did I have this on something? Because I feel like I'm about to make a mess. I don't know. A plate? Something? I don't know. I just see it falling in my head. Did I put it in something? Because, because... Because I just feel like, maybe I should use a spoon. Because I just feel like if I dump this whole big bowl, I can't remember. Maybe I had it in a container or something. If I dump this whole big bowl in here, it's not going to fit. All right, let's try it with the spoon. But it still is gooey, so I don't see how that's going to work either. Let's see. The spoon don't work, by the way. The spoon doesn't work. I'm being lazy, y'all. I don't get how this is going to work. because it is so uh... it's fine except I don't want to be touching it I'm trying to think like what can I put it in because the spoon wasn't holding a bit of nothing This little thing not holding nothing. Nobody's holding anything. It's not working. The only way I could think of is if I put my fingers in it. I don't want to put my fingers in it. And the last way is to be extra dramatic. I put it in here. But who has time for that? And then the dishwasher's gonna have to wash all of this stuff. probably in your way. Okay. Can y'all see it? A little y'all can see, but you can't really see. But I don't want us to be touching it the whole time. How did I do it last time? Did I use this last time? All I'm 
thinking about is who's going to come wash these dishes. Let's see. I don't know if I should close it. Yeah, I definitely did this. I remember this now. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did that. Okay. But this bottle is broke. I have to go to the hair store and I plan to take you all with me. I probably won't be live because I feel like the hair store is unpredictable. <laughs> I'll be live with somebody being in the background just going crazy or something. But um <clears throat> I have to take you all with me to the hair store and then we're gonna there's a couple of things I need to get. Um, one of the things is my new method that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use for shampoo because um, I did do the shampoo popsicles, but I like, I don't, I, it's not that I don't like it. I just feel like using something else would be easier than uh, freezing their popsicles. And then shout out to Esther who said to use the gloves with the popsicles. That absolutely helps absolutely so I still use the gloves when I apply it to my scalp so after my wash so now I gotta have some make sure I have gloves on hand because I've been using them for every wash now but just make sure I have gloves on hand to um you know sorry but make sure I have gloves on hand to uh or when I want to use it. And like I said, I'm going to fill them up on the way. Last time I did it. And I feel like I can. Plus, I don't really want none left. Let's see. There's only just a little bit left. But you know what? I'm going to use these two right now anyway. So I'll just save what's left for the two that I'm about to take out when I wash my hair. See me trying to like stop the, <laughs> stop the cooling. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in a freezer now. But those two that's already frozen, I'm going to come back and get them when I am ready to wash my hair. And then I'll refill. Definitely my most, 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 most favorite way to use aloe vera, especially if you have locks, because the aloe vera was, um, head camera. Oh, okay. well, yes, that's nice, except, see the way my funds are set up right now, <laughs> we are trying not to buy anything, but, um, that is true, but I'll probably just hold my something and do it i just probably won't do it live so it'll be like a live like i probably won't edit it or anything because we don't have time for that but um i will just probably hold my camera and take you all with me and talk to you as if you're there and then upload the video i just won't do a live because i feel like i'll be out in public and people are unpredictable and that's all i need is for something crazy to be happening while i'm online but yeah so hopefully you have some good stuff to look forward to. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, all of that fun stuff. Um, let's see. I forget what I was going to say. Yeah, so hopefully I will come back tomorrow. Hopefully I'm going to wash it like now well, after I make the pizza. I'm going to wash it and then let it start to air dry. Um, because it's easier to blow dry when it's not completely wet and it's more like been drying a little bit. So I'll let it air dry for the rest of the night and then maybe tomorrow uh, at some time. Probably the afternoon though. I don't see me waiting till night unless I just get busy. But tomorrow, then God willing, I'll come back. God willing. No, God willing. Um, I'll come back and I will blow dry it with you all. And we can see it blow dry and see if it makes a difference. It does still get pretty stretched out um, as long as there's no moisture in the air without me blow drying it. So I don't expect it to be much different. But just for you shades of sage, we're going to blow dry it and see what it's looking like. And then try to follow up with a hair update. And then be on the lookout for Saya. She was five years old when she got her locks. She is six years old now. So be on the lookout for her 
uh, one year lock journey and stuff and we actually need to get and sit down with her and sit down with Shay's a sage and see how their journeys are going <clears throat> in general so not just pictures but let them talk to you about how things are going but thank you all for hanging out thank you Vanessa and Shima and my dad those of you that joined the chat and if you didn't join the chat that's okay too thank you for hanging out don't forget the thumbs up like subscribe try to get to a thousand and then after that y'all got an even greater task because we're gonna get to four thousand watch hours and that's not easy but um we'll see in the meantime, just keep putting out the videos and enjoying them. And the more we learn about hair, the more we know about hair, then we can go ahead and share those things with you. But um, thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate the encouragement, y'all. That whatever your plans are, that they work out well for you. But thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you again to all of my old subscribers that's just been hanging in there for a long time but until next time adios